Hello, and welcome to Let's Talk Meshing's Tutorial Tuesday, where we show you how to use the feature in just a couple of minutes. Today we're going to be talking about domain join linkage. When two structured domains are joined, the shared connector is absorbed into the new domain. You can see that here. Edit, join, and the shared connector is no longer seen. It's part of the new domain. But what happens when the structured domains share two connectors? You can see that here with this airfoil. The leading edge and the trailing edge are both shared. If I join these two domains, that will bring up the domain join linkage. The yellow line is the connector that will remain after the join. The pink line, which is visible here at the leading edge, is the connector that will be absorbed. I can switch which connector remains and which connector will be absorbed by changing the linkage here in the table. To keep it at the front and the leading edge, I'll select link 1, click OK. See these connectors remain. If more than two domains are joined, Pointwise will make the decision for you. If you like this video, be sure to click the thumbs up button and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. If you have any questions or comments, drop us a line down below or connect with us on Twitter, which is linked in the description. Thank you all and have a pleasant Tuesday.